If I can help somebody as I pass along, if I can cheer somebody with a word or a song, if I can show somebody he is trapped. Wrong, then my living shall not be in vain. God has given us all a purpose, and we thank God for those who have come into our lives and whose paths we have crossed. Brother Gabe Rivera has a great ministry. For many years, he was a missionary, a pastor, and now he has a ministry of, of restoring, of reaching uh, those whose lives have been broken by sin. It is such a privilege to have Brother Gabe Rivera speaking for us today. Brother Gabe. In John chapter 17, verses 6 through 19, we see Jesus' intercession for the apostles. Jesus prayed for his disciples before he chose them, during his ministry, at the end of his ministry, and at the end of his ministry, and even when he was in heaven, he prayed for them. This prayer of intercession reveals Jesus' concern and love for his apostles. Are we really his? We who profess to know Christ as personal Savior and Lord. We have to answer that question, are we really His? A missionary is someone in whom the Holy Spirit has brought about this realization. You are not your own. To say, I am not my own, is to have reached a high point in my spiritual stature. The true nature of that life in actual Every day confusion is evidenced by the deliberate giving up of myself to another. Giving myself up to another. To another person through a sovereign decision. And that person is Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit interprets and explains the nature of Jesus to me to make me one with my Lord. Not that I might simply become a trophy for his showcase. Our Lord never sent any of his disciples out on the basis of what he had done for them. It was not until after the resurrection, when the disciples had perceived through the power of the Holy Spirit who Jesus really was, that he said, Go. That's the Great Commission, Matthew 28:19. If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. That's Luke 14, 25. He was not saying that this person cannot be good and upright, but that he cannot be someone whom over Jesus can write the word, mine. Any one of those relationships our Lord mentions in this verse can compete with our relationship with him. I may prefer to belong to my mother or to my wife or to myself, but if that is the case, then Jesus said, you, I, cannot be his disciple. This does not mean that I will not be saved, but it does mean that I cannot be entirely his. Our Lord makes his disciple his very own possession, becoming responsible for him. He said in Acts 1a, ye shall be witnesses unto me. The desire that comes into a disciple is not one of doing anything for Jesus, but of being a perfect delight to him. The missionary secret is truly 
being able to say, I am his, and he is accomplishing his work and his purpose through me. Can you answer the question? Are you entirely is? I hope that you are. Thank you so much for that. What a blessing. Let's go to God in prayer. Father, we thank you so much for what we've heard today. Help us now to know for sure that heaven is our home and that we're living in the center of your perfect will. With our heads bowed and eyes closed, if you've never been saved, call upon the name of Jesus right now. He's the only one who can save you. Just pray something like this from your heart to God. Dear God, I admit that I'm a sinner. I deserve to pay for my sins. I believe Jesus died to save me, and right now I receive him into my heart as my own personal Savior. If you prayed that prayer, won't you let us know? We'd love to rejoice with you and be a help to you. And right now, I want to encourage everyone to keep winning souls and keep on living the Christian life. Father, we thank you for the Christians out there today who've been encouraged and are going to go on for you today. Help them, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. You know, the only way we can live this life for Jesus Christ successfully is by His grace. Join me if you would. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found was blind but now I see God bless you today you are listening to From the Shepherd to the Sheep daily devotionals this is a ministry of Central Baptist Church in Woodbridge, Virginia if you would like to learn more about our ministries You can find us online at cbcwoodbridge.org. You will also find many other helpful resources there, including preaching, devotionals, and songs. We thank you for listening to this devotional, From the Shepherd to the Sheep.